Our young men are taught that weakness is strength, that delicacy is desirable, and that being a soft metrosexual is more valuable than training the mind, body, and soul. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Madison Cawthorn is on his way out of office. So he dedicated his last few moments to giving a speech about how weak men are getting and the threat of, quote, soft metrosexuals. Social media has weakened us, siphoning our men of their will to fight, to rise in a noble manner, square their jaws, and charge once more into the breach of life to defend what they love. So on this precipice of disaster, I ask the young men of this nation a question. Will you sit behind a screen while the storied tales of your forefathers become myth? Or will you stand resolute against the dying light of America's golden age? Will you reclaim your masculinity? Will you become a man to be feared, to be respected, to be looked up to? Or will you let this nation's next generation be its final generation? Cawthorn, the same person who was pretty much ostracized from the Republican Party after his several scandals involving him pretending to be gay, wearing women's clothes, and talking about private Republican parties, I'd say he really knows what the threat to America's men are. Fashion. Madam Speaker, it used to be a rite of passage in this country for young men to be punched in the face when they did something stupid. Our nation used to believe that there was strength and purpose in taking the hits learning from your mistakes and growing from through the adversity. America is weak. Her sons are sickly and her daughters are decrepit. Our country now faces the consequences of enabling a participation trophy society. We are no longer the United States. We have become the nanny state. The constant hammering of the idea that strength in men is a singularly defined aspect is ironic, considering that the GOP's main idol, their hero of strength, is a man with some of the weakest skin I have ever seen, Donald Trump. Cries and whines and pitches a fit at just the mention of his name. If it is slightly critical, he will have a full-blown meltdown, leaving ketchup all over the walls. He can't stand not being the center of attention or in the spotlight of a photograph. This is their idea of strength, someone who licks the boots of dictators and ruthless leaders with human rights rights violations coming out of their ears. Of course, none of this is a real issue, not to them. It's just another way to bring up culture war nonsense and accuse the country of being something they can't handle. The GOP is so insecure in their own definitions of strength and courage and what it is to be a man that anyone can threaten it. That's the truth of people like this. Constantly yelling at the top of your lungs, screaming about how tough you are, doesn't make you tough. It's showing it. Dedication to your country and fighting for it. I didn't see Madison Cawthorn introduce too much legislation or have anything meaningful to say about delivering for his constituents. All I saw was someone who used the MAGA label to soar into power and do nothing good with it. So now he's lost it. Comment down below on what you think Cawthorn's next move will be to stay relevant. I'm thinking a podcast or YouTube channel that no one watches. Let us know what you guys think. This is another reason why the GOP is so terrified of gay and trans men. Anything that they believe threatens their ability to be a man or what they think they have to prove to be so, they lose it. Which is nonsense. Someone being a gay man or identifying as a trans man does not take away from anyone else's ability to be a man as well. It's not a competition. And if your identity is so fragile, then maybe you should reconsider it. Also, yet another piece to the awful puzzle that makes up Cawthorn's past. He was accused of constantly sexually harassing women, you know, to prove what a man he is. Finally, after doing absolutely nothing and being yet another yes man in the MAGA circus and being the exact type of awful person the GOP loves, Madison Cawthorn is going to have to kiss his seat in the house goodbye. Now let's make sure it's consensual. Now Madison, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.